What's up YouTube? Jimbo here. Before we get into this video, I just wanted to put a disclaimer out there that uh, I'm drying out some new GoPros. I got a white and a black Hero 7 and I'm still learning how to use them. So that being said, uh, a lot of my videos I took this weekend got deleted or weren't actually recording when I thought they were recording. It's actually more realistic. Um, I had big spaces of video that I thought it was off and then when I thought I was recording I was actually not recording so um, it's not gonna be the greatest video I'm gonna give you what I got just because it does have a lot of valid uh, river information for this particular trip um, but bear with me on the next couple of videos I'm still getting used to the using the head mount the chest mount the selfie stick all that I'm, I'm it's all new to me so um, and I'm trying to get away from using my phone, especially when I'm floating. When I'm hiking, I'll still be using my phone, but when I'm floating, I really don't want to uh, have my phone out a lot. I just don't think it's a great idea, and the GoPros are, are semi-waterproof, so, uh, you know, I went all in on and bought a couple of them. I got a bunch of batteries and chargers, so it should make the quality better. Um, it's got its own stabilization, but uh, it's just going to take me a little bit to uh, get the hang of it and start producing, like, what's in my head so with that being said i hope you enjoy this video good morning youtube it is 6 30 on a saturday morning it is june 26th and it is already 77 degrees outside we are headed out i say we because i've got angela in the back we are headed out for a kayaking trip on the buffalo river this is going to be a good one i'm not going to give too much away just know that we woke up before five loaded the kayaks up, she made some breakfast burritos, and we are on our way. We still got two more hours of driving, uh, and we are going to the, the takeout point, whereas I'm, at that point I'm going to take the kayak, that's, I got Olivia's kayak on my car, I'm going to take it off, throw it on top of her car, she's got R2 on it, and uh, from there we will go to the put-in, and I'll give you more information as we go on. I just want to let you know that we are on our way. It's time for another adventure. Stay tuned. Woo! Okay, let me see. Don't get your phone on the back of the boat. Oh, thank you. I should have a Ziploc for it. And I'm going to put mine in airplane mode. Yeah, we are not in a hurry. When in doubt, dope it out. Also, we need to get your Uh, I gotta set my GPS real quick. Well, that's fine. We can stay out
Okay, we're officially on our way. Got some new customers up there getting ready to get in. I'm glad we moved the Subi when we did. Yeah, I like your sunglasses. Just act natural. So Olivia's got the Ascend D10 kayak. It's the fastest of the bunch. Kind of, we let her scout. Angela's got the FS10. They're both 10 footers, just like mine. I'll take a better look at them the first time we stop. For now, we just need to try to get, I'm gonna try to get out of this wind and get over there on the other bank. And I need to get my fishing rig going. And if you can see that truck up there, that's South Maume. We we put in at North Maume because I wasn't sure about the parking at South. And when we go by, I'm hoping to glean a little information on that. Um, it, the road we came down is pretty rough. So it'd be nice to find something with a little nicer road. But the shuttle was also 15 minutes shorter coming to this one also. So there's multiple benefits to going to North Maume, which ironically is south of South Maume on the map but it's on the north bank and I guess that's why they call it North Maume. Who knows? Okay, well, I'm gonna tie my little grasshopper lure on my pole and see what happens. It is a beautiful day. It is 20 till 10 on a Saturday morning. We got some wonderful clouds, so it's not bearing down heat. This is my kind of floating. Absolutely beautiful. As long as it doesn't rain, it'll be perfect. Spending the day with two pretty ladies on the river, doing some fishing. Got a six pack of beer. Life is good. Blue heron up here. If you don't paddle, you can get really close to them if you just like stand still as you're cruising by. If you don't make any moves, they will treat you like part of the river. I don't see anything to worry about. What are you looking at? Oh, I'm just gonna go to the left of it. Get on out of here. Picture. Olivia wants to jam in front of you so she can take a picture. Try to get aimed at them. Once you get in front of your mom, like aim towards them and then get some speed and then just kind of gl glide towards them. This is where that little, the little camera I gave you would work real good. Try not to move too much. He's got a, a scraggly beard. Oh, he's pruning it. Like, if we just don't paddle, he'll just not take off, probably. Elegant. Super slow movements. Hey buddy. How are you? We're just passing through. I love your beard. Olivia, watch out for the logs, okay? Super awesome that we're able to get that close. And just let the water push you.
All right, I got my first fish, a little bass. Yeah. yeah, I just told Angela how I wanted to catch a fish and I caught one. A little bitty baby. Oh, oh it's a dragonfly. <laughs> <laughs> See if I can do this without putting a hook in myself. The bad thing about all these treble hooks. Better get my tool. Somewhere I got a set of hemos. Okay, hold still, little man, so I can get you back in the water. All right, Dave. This one's for you. Thanks, brother. Dave's my coworker. He told me to buy that little grasshopper jig and told him I was wanting to catch a fish, and I finally got one. Here you go, buddy. And he's out of here. All right, that's one, ladies. I want to fish now. Well, we need to fish on land if we're going to fish with you. So, this is what I'm using it's a little grasshopper. Uh, they call it a cricket, I think, but it's actually a grasshopper, in my opinion. And uh, we're going to see if we can do it again. That was that felt good. I mean, I know he's a little guy, but man, after last trip, I didn't even get a bite, and I fished all day long. Man, there was a big old fish down there. I think it was a bottom feeder though. All right, I got another one. This one looks like a, I got a perch. A little guy. All right, well. Got a perch this time, people. If I can <laughs> keep my stuff from going away. Give myself a little slack here. Hope I can play with them. Okay. There he is. Super small. Oh, and he's like a little jet. Taking off as quick as he can. Okay, guys. It's time to get a closer look at this kayak of Olivia's. The D10 from Ascend. Bass Pro or Cabela's, depending on where you live. 10 footer, minimal. It's got minimal storage capacity, but it does have a bungee for front storage. It's got a dashboard with a cup holder, which doesn't work for water bottles. And this thing holds quite a bit back here. And it actually has a mesh cover like mine, but we forgot it. Um, I'm going to take the blame for that one. But uh, we're still new at this. But it's got an adjustable seat can go back and forward. It's got front pegs. It's got paddle holders. It's where you can hold the paddle either way and you can also set one right across here. So, uh, and it's also the fastest boat of our Armada. So, get out of here. So she's our, she's pretty much our scout because she can, she can pretty much haul ass in that thing. Like, you can see she's barely paddling and she's already going faster than me and I'm struggling to keep up and I'm not even actually keeping up. Okay, let's come look at puddles, what puddles got rocking. Puddles has the F, hold on babe. Puddles has the FS10, it's a fishing kayak. It's got front storage like Olivia's D10. It's got a bigger dashboard. It's got storage in the back, but it did not come with the mesh. Sorry. Really? I'm sorry. Oh my God. I'm sorry. It didn't come with the mesh back for some reason, but it comes with uh, this cool area right here is round that fits, you can put a five gallon bucket in this, and this is square and you can put a, uh, an egg container, I guess is what you call it, a milk container crate. Fits right there if you, if you wanted to go that route. It's got trolling holes. Uh, Olivia's doesn't have that because hers isn't a fishing kayak. This, this is a fishing kayak. It's got the footholds. It's got the adjustable seat, just like all the other ones. 
it's got a, a dry well right here this unscrews and there's a dry sock in there so you can keep whatever you want like your keys or your wallet or something and it would stay dry it's got multiple cup holders and a little square thing that i don't know what's for and this one has two accessory rails olivia's doesn't have any accessory rails so that's the fs10 and it's a little faster than mine i've got the slowest boat i got the slowest boat but it carries the most weight olivia's boat weighs i want to say 45 pounds and I want to say Angela's is 50 or 55, and then I want to say... Okay, well, whatever the numbers are, they'll be on your screen, and I will, uh, I'll edit those in, because I, I could have swore hers was 45, hers was 50, and mine was 55, but hers might be 50, 55, and 60, or 65, I can't remember. I've, uh, I've slept since I've read that, so. Angela's also trying out a new cooler she bought, the Mule Cooler. It's a kind of a cool concept. It's got a, a, get, dry, dry bag. it's a dry bag, but you put ice in it and then it's got a way where you can like unscrew it and it deflates or something. Yeah, if you deflate it, it, it reduces the insulation, but also reduces the space in there so you have more room for ice. So, yes. <laughs> We just pulled over, ate a snack, drank a beer. So right now we're just kind of pulled over and ate a snack and <clears throat> jumped in the water a little bit. It's about chest deep. I walked over to where it starts getting shallow again. It got chest deep and the current's super slow so it's really, really refreshing. I really enjoyed it. The girls are out there now getting wet. I rigged up Olivia's pole with a twirly tail grub chartreuse and yellow and or green and had her practice. She's still a little new at fishing, but she has caught fish in the past, so uh, I'm gonna try to find a little spot in this river where she can catch a fish or two. Yeah, good throw. <laughs> She's going barefoot now in the water. Oh, this is a great, great day. We got a little wind, we got overcast skies, and it is absolutely amazing out here we're only about a mile and a half in and uh this is what i needed we're in between two groups two big s groups actually three if you want to count these guys on this other side i don't know their story but there's a third group pretty awesome You gotta swing way to the right and then get yourself a good shot this way. And don't hit, don't go under these roots. Don't hit those. Whatever you do, don't hit them. 
Watch that fishing pole. I like it. Yeah, you should you gotta watch out what you're doing. All right, so we got a little fire going. We're gonna eat some steaks for lunch. It is 10 till one. And we've done about two, two and a half miles, something like that. I haven't looked at the GPS, but it's about two and a half, maybe three at the most. All right, so Olivia just caught a largemouth bass that big. We marked it. I didn't have my camera. I had to run back and get my camera. She caught right over there. I lost a lure right over there, and I told her she was fishing down there. She caught a little a perch or something down there, and I told her to try this spot, and she tried this spot and caught a largemouth that big, and then there was, when she was reeling it in, there was one following it that was even a little bit bigger that I thought was going to maybe try to hit it, but that would have been remarkable if that would have happened. So we're just... That's... That's where we stopped to eat lunch. Angela's taking a shade break and we thought we'd check this spot out. Got a big big group of partiers just went by with their speakers and music playing. So it looks like we'll probably have to weed through them guys again. Look at that bluff. Isn't that amazing? I'll know in a second. Usually when they're putting in, they're putting in on the right, on the downstream side. When they're putting in, they usually put down, put in on the downstream side. Okay, well, we might just have to squeeze in somewhere. But we want to be all three together. <laughs> 